Okay. Yeah, I want to just bring out a quick scripture to back up with the brother Sam. Because, you know, there's this spirit, which we don't want to get uh, off the topic that, you know what I'm saying, the, the DNA of a child can be determined, not the nationality of a child can be determined whether it be of the mother or the father. The scriptures don't say that. Right. Genesis chapter 1, verse 24. If you want to read that real quick, give me the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 24, real quick. Genesis. To cut that, to cut that absolute bogus lie that's being told. Genesis 1, verse 24, read that. Genesis chapter 1, verse 24. And the Most High said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after its kind, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. So did you hear that? It keeps saying his, his, his kind. Why? Because as the brother brought out, the man carries the seed, which is the sperm. So when that man or that child, when that man lays that seed in that woman, whatever seed he laid in that woman, that's what the child is. So if the man is black, no matter what nation of woman he lays with, that child is black. If the father is white, even though she might, the white man might have laid down with a black woman, those children are Edomites. They're so-called white people. So in the case of George Zimmerman, as the brother brought out, George Zimmerman is an Edomite. Okay? He's a so-called white boy. He might look like a Hispanic, but he's a so-called white boy that killed Trayvon Martin, and it was absolutely unjust. And the Most High is going to wring his neck. Most High is going to put his behind to death, man. A lot of these so-called white people, like a lot of these Klansmen, man. The so-called white man killed thousands of black people during um, segregation, during the Civil Rights era. They was killing black people by the thousands, man. And a lot of them guys was never brought to justice. They just died. But there's a beautiful thing in the scriptures, man, where a lot of these guys, the Most High is going to get them back, man. They may not realize it. They may not understand it. But we're here to tell you that the Most High is going to get these guys back, man. You understand that? Now, we're going to go through a few scriptures. You got something else you want to bring out on that one? On the notes? Or that was a description of... Uh, Bring out the scripture. Absolutely, bring it up. Uh, Genesis uh, chapter 9, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. Right. For in the image of God made he man. So whoever sheds man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. Showing that the Most High is all about vengeance. What do you think the city of refuge was about when you read the book of Numbers? What do you think that was about? A lot of you, so, the so called white man holds up the Bible and says, In God we trust. You say you believe in God, you believe in the Bible, but as soon as we start opening the Bible and showing you things, all of a sudden you're an unbeliever now. You don't believe, I don't believe this, I don't believe that, but you better believe in this Bible because the Bible is coming to pass, whether you believe it, accept it or not. You got something else on? Uh, and to show our people that the white man doesn't care about Trayvon Martin or any other young so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American that, 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 that's a, a victim of police brutality or that's maliciously murdered by other so-called white people. Uh, I get the scripture for you, Deuteronomy chapter 28, yep, verse 25 through 50.